Hi, I'm Dr. Ariane from the Movement Paradigm. Now let's talk about another vagus nerve hack that you can do, which is pelvic floor release and relaxation. The vagus nerve is integrated with the sympathetic nervous system most everywhere in the body, but especially the gut and the pelvis. And what's interesting about the pelvic floor is that we tend to hold so much tension here. This ends up being from Eastern medicine as well as Western. This is where we tend to hold our emotions and typically can have actually more of a tighter pelvic floor. As always, let's talk a little bit about the anatomy. So the posterior vagus nerve actually integrates with the a network of sympathetic plexi, so a network of nerves. Number one is the celiac plexus. Number two and three are the superior and inferior mesenteric plexus. And number four and five are the superior and inferior hypogastric plexus. So these plexi actually form an integrated circuit that moves blood flow in and out of the pelvis. And this is exactly what the autonomic nervous system is all about, is moving blood. So this network of nerves is where the vagus nerve is going to bring this blood flow back to the heart and brain, uh, signaling to the brain. But lastly, urination, defecation, sexual orgasm, all require this complex integration of all of these nerves and blood flow from the pelvis to the rest of the body. And in order to do all of those things, we have to feel safe in the bedroom as well as in the bathroom. So safety is the cornerstone of our state of social engagement of the ventral vagal nerve. Number one is a pelvic floor release. So by sitting on a ball and addressing the pelvic floor musculature, this is a great way to create this inhibition and relaxation response. So if you're sitting on the ball, we wanna think about coming behind the pubic bone. So this would actually here be the front of the pelvic floor. And then right inside of the cheek here is where we have the back of the pelvic floor. So that would be where you would focus the attention. Number two is the happy baby. It's a great relaxation exercise. There's lots of variations of that, but just getting to a position where you feel very comfortable and you're able to inhale into the pelvic floor. When we're inhaling, that's when the pelvic floor is relaxing. So that's actually what we're focusing on while opening up the pelvic outlet. Lastly is the rock on forearms. So once again, we're opening up the pelvic outlet, inhaling into the base of the pelvic floor to create that relaxation response. I think the pelvic floor is one of the most fascinating connections with the vagus nerve. So it's a really great way to address this. And, and as I mentioned earlier, from a chakra standpoint, we actually tend to hold our emotions here so from an Eastern standpoint, but also it's where we create this clenching and, and guarding of the pelvic floor, especially for holding emotions. So you can see this intimate relationship with your nervous system and how it could affect you. As always, thank you so much for joining. And if this was helpful, definitely give it a like, give it a share, and make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, The Movement Paradigm, for weekly tips on mindset, nutrition, and movement.